Get pause of YouTube, Six Foot Hacks here. Half for you guys today in Uber's Wi-Fi battle against Pokemon Guru, the winner of the experimental Discord tournament that we had going on. Now, if you guys may have missed my update video from yesterday, I would really appreciate it if you guys go check that out after watching this video or watch that, then come back to this. Either way, if you do enjoy this battle, make sure to hammer that like button down below, guys, and to answer the question of the day now. Let's take a look at the team. So, this is a pretty cool hyper offense team. I got from my boy Edgar. He did RMT this team, so if I can find the RMT, I'll leave a link to that down in the description. And my opponent, Pokemon Guru, here is running a very aggressive team. Definitely one huge, huge threat is going to be this Hoa, which is why I want to lead off with my Excadrill, even though it is a Focus Ash Pokemon. If he does burn me with the Sacred Fire, then he is going to knock me out. So I decided to just go straight for the Stealth Rocks. I should be faster than that Hoa unless he's running Adamant or a non-plus speed nature. I'm pretty sure that I still have to be plus speed Jolly ho if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. Either way though, he's gonna switch directly into his Garatina as I'm able to hit him with the Earthquake thanks to the fact that I do have Mold Breaker as an ability, ignoring the fact that Garatina has Levitate. I will be able to three or four hit KO him potentially depending on my earthquake rolls as he goes for the hex much to my surprise this is a clean to a KO which I was honestly not expecting so here I'm just gonna try and get on my stealth rocks because they are definitely important for that hell and with this Garatina already being so weakened there's a good possibility that he's not gonna be able to default again later in this match so honestly my best bet right here is to just spam stealth rocks until eventually he knocks me out I really don't mind if he wants to keep going for defog and defog and defog eventually I'm gonna get on my rocks is what I'm trying to say so he finally knocks me out with the hex as I can get a free switch into my Tapu Busted because my Excadrill outspent this Garatina. My Tib and Nature Tapu Lele will be able to outspeed this Garatina. And thanks to Psychic Terrain's ability, he's not going to be able to Shadow Sneak me, so he's got to choose on what to potentially Death Fodder as I'm able to knock out the Garatina. In comes the Lunala, and I have no safe switching to this monster so I'm just gonna stay in here in hopes that I can live whatever move he wants to go for but he pulls a double switch into Arceus expecting me to maybe want to switch into my Groudon most likely is what I'm thinking uh, potentially Yavelta which wouldn't have been a bad prediction I guess but it goes terribly wrong for him because I go for the Shattered Psyche in the Psychic Terrain and there is no way Arceus is living this unless it's like max special defense, max HP and I just got rid of one possible giant threat which is awesome because it just it just kind of happened honestly like like I said I didn't predict that at all so he's then gonna bring in Mega Lucario and much like Mega Lucario because I am running hyper offense uh, much like Lunala sorry because I'm running hyper offense I have no switch-ins to any attack coming from this monster I mean I could switch in the Groudon which is what he was definitely predicting but at this point I thought that I really didn't need my Tapu Lele so I just decided to stay in and go for the psychic that way I could get a free switch into my Groudon or potentially into my Yveltal depending on how how things went as I knock out the Lucario that's another potential threat out of the way as back comes this Lunala which he should have done this originally off the bat because that way he would have been able to save his Arceus as he crits me with the Moon Guys Beam I actually don't think that crit matters at all even if he was like modest choice scarf which is the most common set it still didn't matter because I think the minimum damage was like a, over a hundred percent so highly doubt that crit mattered Either way though, I can now get a free switch into my Groudon here, which is actually a Double Dance Primal Groudon, a set that I've really been wanting to showcase here. And I'm going to go for the Rock Polish, thinking, well, it doesn't matter if he Specs or if he is Scarf, because I should be able to live any one hit, get off this Rock Polish, and then at this point I should be able to sweep through his team because I should definitely be able to knock him out with a Precipice Blade as he does exactly 50%, well a little bit over 50%, like 51% to my Groudon. If I don't knock him out with this Precipice Blade, then he revenge kills me and of course he barely lives on like 1% HP and now unfortunately this Moon Guy's Beam is going to knock me out except for the fact that he gets a low damage roll and I live 
on 10 HP, and in return, I'm able to knock him out with my precipice blade there, which is really nice because it looks like I'll be able to pull off the little sweep I kind of had in mind with Primal Groudon as he brings in his own Primal Groudon. I honestly was thinking that his Primal Groudon could live any one hit from my Primal Groudon just because Primal Groudon does have a lot of bulk. Then again, it also does have a whole lot of attack. So I'm gonna go for the Precipice Blade here and it just died. I skewered it through its neck and it just died. So Groudon going on a rampage here. His last Pokemon is this Ho-Oh. And because I do have the Stone Edge, I will be able to go for that to knock him out. Except that Groudon was running around too fast and he stumbles over his feet as I missed the Stone Edge. It's okay though because I still have the Arceus, no, not, not the Arceus, sorry, the Deoxys and the Yveltal. So I can bring in either one of those two and knock this out. Even if he is Scarfed, it doesn't really matter because he doesn't knock me out with the Earthquake because he doesn't touch me. So I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse here. Hopefully able to knock him out, but no, <laughs> he barely lives as he told me that he was locked into the Earthquake. So I'm just going to go for the Foul Play here just to finish off the match and that is going to be the victory in my favor. So I still thought that was a pretty fun Ubers game. Good game to Pokemon Guru. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the battle. Also I got to show off Rock Polish Groudon a little bit which was pretty cool. Really wish I didn't miss that stun as but hey it, it's part of the game. Hopefully y'all did enjoy. If you did guys make sure to hammer that like button down below to answer the question of the day. Make sure to check out the update video I uploaded yesterday. So with that being said guys I will see you all tomorrow on Monday. Cause my brain and heart are both tied in the night and this hinders me from crying a lot. This causing me to show no emotion. But when I said I cared, I wasn't joking. But I guess it's too late for me to become broken. For now, I'm living with no more pain, tears, or hoping. I'm just coasting. Yeah, I said I'm coasting. No more pain, tears, and hoping. For real.